All right. Let's get started. Uh, let me close that. All right. Looks like we lost Jonathan during lunch. Uh, <coughs> all right. So lesson four is about services uh, or feeders. Lesson four is about feeders. Uh, the first couple questions are going to be in the uh, definition section of the code book. That was zero concurrent. I had three. Anyway, uh, I'm just talking to myself now. All right, we got somebody watching now. Uh, so all circuit conductors between the service equipment, the source of a separately derived system or other power supply source, and the final branch circuit over current device defines a feeder. This is going to be an Article 100 feeders, or uh, the definition of feeders. Uh, yeah, that's not a whole lot more to say about that. Minimum rating and size of feeders is covered in which of the following? Article 215 is the article about feeders. If you flip there, 215.2 uh, is minimum rating and size. That's the title of that section. Uh, next up. Trees are permitted to be used for support of overhead conductor spans of outside branch circuits and feeders. So, that is false. Uh, trees are not allowed to be used as support. And if you flip the page uh, and look up, it's vegetation as support. I'm not seeing it right this second. Uh, let's see identification for feeders feeders with a common neutral uh, general see if we have a hint overhead service conductors 225 that that's a whole separate section that's that's what I was missing uh, outside branch circuits and feeders is 225 and that's where they're going to cover that 225.26 outside branch circuits and feeders if you look that up in the index and look up vegetation as support uh, it says vegetation such as trees shall not be used for support uh, festoon lighting shall be supported by messenger wire when spans are greater than 40 foot let's pull up a picture of some festoon lighting you can tell I've looked it up a lot. So these are some pictures of festoon lighting. It's it's like what you would see at Luke's. Uh, the lighting that just they drape it over places. It's usually used for more decorative than actual light. Like you're not going to do work by festoon lighting. Uh, but it is an ambient light used for decorations. Uh, if it gets so far, you need to put a, like, it's designed to kind of support its own weight, but if you go 40 foot or more, and you can, this is in the outside branch circuits section, uh, you can look at the festoon lighting, and, uh, that will tell you that it's 40 foot is the maximum distance. All 
I remember this one I had issues finding yesterday. It's about feeders. And 215.10 uh, it covers ground fault protection of equipment for feeders. And it's basically a word-for-word -word description of that. Don't know why this question is in this uh GFCI protection of must be provided for outlets that supply dishwashers installed in dwelling unit locations. This is going to be in the dwelling unit or the uh, branch circuit section uh, covering GFCI protection. So Article 210 uh, under GFCI protection will list all of the places that need GFCI protection. And dishwashers are one of those uh, locations. Now, it, of note, it does say outlets, not receptacle outlets, uh, because you do not have to put a plug at the GFCI, or at the uh, dishwasher. It's very common, and it's probably the best way to do it. Uh, that's why it's very common. But it's not necessary. Like, you don't have to... Uh, <laughs> you don't have to put it there. Alright, next up is 7. Liquid type flexible non-metallic condo is permitted as a raceway for outside branch circuit conductors installed on the outside surface of a building were installed at 1,000 volts nominal or below. Uh, this one is uh, in the outside branch circuit, so 225. And it's like right there at the very beginning of the section. Uh, 225 is, and they cover uh, wiring on buildings or other structures. And it has a, just a list of things you can use with outside branch circuits and uh, feeders. It's just a straight up list. Uh, 225.10 is where that is. If you would like to look that up. Then finally, uh, minimum rating and size of feeders co is covered in which of the following? Uh, that is 215.2. .2. Back to the very first question. Uh, if you look in the feeders section, it covers uh, a minimum rating and size of feeders. All right. Uh, I'm not going to keep this going too much longer f for those people that come later to watch. Uh, if anybody has any questions about any of this, uh, any of the stuff we've done today, if you're having issues with something, feel free to comment. Uh, if you're coming back later, uh, you can join the, f the uh, Discord and ask questions. You can just text me questions. Uh, I am available all day. Uh, yeah, and if probably you are not the only one with the question, so uh, feel free to ask it, and I'm not going to call you out uh, on it. So, go ahead, uh, if anybody has any questions, ask, and then uh, I'm going to end this here. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and it'll give you a notification every time I go live, too.